Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I've found time away from work to very quickly record a video today. So what's today's video is going to be about? Well, glad you asked. Uh, so I saw that the Countdown to Lost Belt 6 campaign, Part 3, was starting, and this is the one that has um, uh, Lost Belt 5 and 5.5 .5 in it. So that means that we're pretty... There's some pretty good confirmation here that... Uh, by the end of this campaign, there's not a lot left for the countdown, so that's chances are when Lost Belt 6 is going to start happening. At least that's what I'm currently assuming. So with that in mind, I'll know a lot of people are saving up for Anniversary, and I also know that a lot of people are also saving up for the unit that's right before Anniversary. All three of them. All four of them, excuse me. So today's video is going to be when should you actually... Let's talk about when you should summon for Morgan. <laughs> And the others as well. Fa Fairy Knight, uh, Tristan, uh, Fairy Knight Go In, and Fairy Knight Lancelot, which is the names I'm going to be using because you learned their, uh, their other names in the story. But anyway, let's get into it. Also, if you're curious about this, here you go. Also, feel free to tell me about when you plan or how you plan to summon for it because I'd be kind of interested to see what the vast majority of people kind of uh, are planning for it. It's very interesting. But anyway, yeah, here you go. Here's your rewards. Three quarts. Three golden apples, three silver apples. So anyway, let's go. So obviously her first banner comes right when Lost Belt 6 comes out, which is... We have to go to the Japanese side. Ah, uh, day to day to day. Day to day to day. So currently, yes. So it's May right now, but I expect on May 29th we'll get this one. I have on the Faye, uh Lost Belt release. And this one here we have... I actually can't go down because they actually have their real names, which is pretty funny. <laughs> the things I do for the people I don't want to potentially spoil. But anyway, this one will have uh, Kukal and Caster on it. It'll have Morgan on it. It'll have um, the two Fey Knights, which you're going to see a lot of them. All of them are story. Morgan is limited, and these two are story locked, and so is Ku. Uh, and then the summon banner that falls after it right away is the one that features Castoria on it. So a really crazy back-to-back -back release before anniversary. So this is the first time Morgan shows up. Morgan herself as a unit, I'll just give a very quick rundown. And I think this is true for all the units I'm going to be talking about. They're good. They're very good. I know in Japan, I don't know if it, it was based off of pure... She is good. It took a while for people to kind of accept that she's good. Um, because when she released, funny enough, the, the story about Morgan was more like, we care more about these two than Morgan, who cares about Morgan, Saberface, whatever. And then Lost Belt 6 came out, people read the story, and then it was immediately actually Morgan is number one, all hail Morgan, Morgan supremacy, supremacy and stuff. It was not like that at launch, I can say that right now. Uh, so I actually can never tell if it's actually based off of her being an extremely good unit, or that they just have an intense love for it. But eventually on the Japanese side, they started using her over Arjuna Alter as their go-to buster. Not saying one is better than the other. I'm just saying that's what they ended up going with. Again, different kind of meta ideas. I'm interested to see if there's anyone on the Japanese side who can maybe explain why it kind of went that way. I know from a pure logic standpoint, Arjuna Alter is kind of hard to unmake as the best berserker, but... I think it ended up being something about, like, it just became easier to actually farm with her because they started releasing so many 50% starting NP um, uh, event CEs. So you just equip them to your Berserkers, use her special, go on nonstop, and boom, 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 you're done. But anyway, this is the first time she shows up. It's coming in a weird time. Like I said, the thing that follows her, her up almost immediately is Castoria, which for, in terms of if you want to be running an arts team, she's kind of a, a necessary, <laughs> she's extremely necessary, I would say. Either you have to have her or your uh, friends list has to have her, one of the two ways. Um, and in general, it's good to have one on your side. Uh, the, the fairy knights over here, uh, this is the last time I'll mention it, because if you're ever wondering, like, there is going to be a ticket eventually where you can just pick them for free and it's coming in October. But these two units show up constantly. I want to say they're on so many banners that even though they're story locked, don't worry about it. Um, you will get them. <laughs> just There has to eventually be a banner that features them that you're going to summon on just because they're on so many. 
But yeah, that's the first Morgan Manor. This is when it's expected to come out. That's exactly when Lost Belt 6 comes out. Now, in terms of the other unit, because there's a sec, there's another new unit. Another Fairy Knight. Uh, and Summoning Campaign 3. Here you go, and this one is also the one that has Percival in it. Percival is also not story locked, not limited in any capacity. Uh, oh, well, weird that, la that, yeah, they, okay, yeah, Lancelot kept the Lancelot name, but whatever. This is the first time uh, Lancelot comes in. Um, she's a five star. She's a very unique five star in that she has a AOE NP. Uh, and she also has a single target NP, and you switch between the two. I think it's once you do the f one of the skills, she goes to straight to single target, and you, I don't think you can switch back. But either way, she's the first unit to kind of have that ability, um, if you don't count Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, because Dr. Jekyll only has... The <laughs> Dr. Jekyll only has one NP, and then when he goes the Berserker, he loses it? Oh, man. That's funny for him. But anyway, he's extremely well-liked unit, extremely good as well. And Percival, I think, is also very good and isn't talked about as much because he's a man. So he suffers the man tax. But there, I've also seen plenty of people saying, I'm actually only summoning because I want to get my boy Percival. So I know you exist and you're out there. But this one is expected to come out, let's see, if this is July 14th. And this released on July. A full month? Nah, no way that's happening. The reason is, is that, okay, let's assume in May is when uh, Morgan comes out, the 29th. Like I've said multiple times, Early July is when anniversary is going to be for um, uh, our side of the of the game. So because the GSSR has both of them on it, that would mean she has to release sometime in June. I don't know when in June, but she has to release sometime in June. <laughs> probably somewhere near the midway point. It's really weird because she'll probably have a banner up and then also be featured on the GSSR at the same time. That's really bizarre, but yeah. This is the first time she comes up, and this is uh, when you would expect to see her. And again, it's all before anniversary, insanely close to anniversary. So even if you're a big fan of her, you have to remember that there are other units coming. And then finally, we hit anniversary. And that's the commemorative campaign. This is what the anniversary looks like. Here we go. And it's important to look at anniversary, because if you're someone who actually spends a little on the game... There is potential to get them in the easiest way possible, which is why a lot of people usually skip. As you can see here, both of them are on it. They both have to be on it because they were released. I don't expect that to change for us. So Morgan shares a banner. Um, if you don't know, so there's basically like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 banners. They're GSSR. You can only summon on one of them. And each one of them is divided into specific type of servants. And depending on when they're going to be released, I believe it's... A based on release date um this is the one that has morgan on it and it's all new units so this one has karen it has miss crane it has castoria another good reason if you're missing castoria <laughs> you probably should have summoned on that banner and maybe go for it here if you're someone who spends in the game and then we have uh, yoshitsune here in the back if you do not have any of these units, you have a one, two, three, four, five, five, one in five chance of getting Morgan, and then in general, just getting a new, brand new unit. And it, the, the, basically, the way I always see it is that you take the units that you like the most, and then you add them to the chances of what is a hit for me in this situation. For me, because I have Castoria and I have Yoshitsune, it's a three in five chance of me actually getting something I want from here. If we look at Fairy Knight Lancelot, it's a little bit crazier actually now that i look at this she has um uh van gogh she has summer kiara she has um uh sun goddess she has emia she has a summer abbey she has her on it obviously they have this asshole over here and they got, of course, uh, ibuki here in the back so that's a one two three four five six seven eight a 1 in 8 chance of you actually getting Lancelot, and then you add these for the ones you would potentially want. In this case, I have Kiara, I have I have Abby, and I don't want these two over here, the two men, so I'm going to add it. So I actually only have a half a chance, of, and I also have Ibuki, and I have her as well. <laughs> so I actually have a 2 in 8 chance of me getting a unit I would actually want in this banner. Just because I already have plenty of the other ones where I'm not interested in the mail. 
So probably not the best bet if I actually was going for her. But the Morgan one I think is risky enough for me to go for. And again, this is an option only available for people who pay. You need at least 15 paid quarts. Um, so keep that in mind. This is only an option if you're someone who pays for it. But most, even people who don't spend on the game, spend for GSSR. Because in Fago, typically a free SSR is pretty damn good. Just because of how hard it is actually to get an SSR. But anyway, that's the anniversary. The anniversary releases, you'll get plenty of St. Quartz. Uh, the, the Vich will be released. And then not long after <laughs> the Avalon com conclusion campaign starts now here's the weird thing i know you're saying wouldn't it most units takes years it takes arjuna alter super years to finally release but believe it or not morgan almost returns immediately <laughs> uh with both uh both of the fairy knights with her as well and it's only like a at this point for na it would be even it'd be around two months she would basically return as as when her banner ends she would come back, and she was gonna come back I think at least three or more times I want to keep it in this year because funny enough these are all the times that you can actually legitimately summon for her this year, I believe this is the last time you can summon for her for this year but it, this is probably a better place to summon because it takes place after anniversary, um, I believe it's also after. Oberon? Yeah, Oberon, it's like a week after Oberon, because this is where Oberon comes in. So, in theory, you would have already done all your summons for Oberon. You would have done it for Vich, and unless you're going for the other Tamamo at the end, <laughs> the, the the Koyaski of Light versus the Dark, I forget which one is the Light versus the Dark, but whatever. Um, unless you're saving her for her, I think there's still plenty of time before December where you could actually, in theory, summon for Morgan here if you had any leftover St. Quartz. And this is probably the best bet for if you're someone who's like super frugal and wants to make sure they kind of get the support units cleared up first, this is your best bet of actually trying to go for Morgan. And this is also assuming you're not going for GSSR as well. Um, if you just wait literally two months, you'll get another crack at her after all the other banners are coming out. Now, obviously, the only thing that's kind of missing here is Summer, because Summer is usually right next afterwards. So if you're someone who really wants any of the Summer units, which there are some good Summer units in this one, some pretty cool ones, um, it's a, probably another case of like, I don't know if I'm going to summon for her, but she is good enough for me to say that she's at least on par with some of the better Summer units. She's definitely the unit that's remember most from this year, so... Uh, outside of Vich, I guess, and the Oberon as well. There's plenty of good units this year. I should not discount them because, again, Summer Kama is insane for Arts it being an Avenger as well, not to undercut her at all. I don't want it to make it come off as that. But anyway, probably your best bet for summoning for Morgan. You're still going to be nestled between... The only problem with this one is now you're going to be nestled between Anniversary and... Um, summer so unless you have in just insane luck you're not going to be able to get all these either you have to have insane luck or you have to have an insane wallet choose one or the other <laughs> and finally remember how i said hey it it comes out later here's where um a lancelot returns again in this campaign near the end of the year She'll be right here for you. So even if she comes back this year, two uh, SSR units that released the same year both could get releases in the same year. <laughs> and yeah, this is going to be your best bet. The only thing that's kind of a bummer here is that if you're going for the New Year's unit, then obviously um, it's going to be a little bit tough for you to justify spending on her. But I think that's enough time in between all the summer stuff for you to have a decent amount of SQ maybe saved up around maybe three multis usually for me i try and do at least three multis and then call it quits because in three multis if you don't get the unit then i guess they just don't want you to have it unless you're about to pay out out of ass or something but yeah that's probably your best bet for it so yeah very interesting it's a very interesting release i've always thought it was an interesting release how they did morgan about how she's so weird and she also has again both of them have plenty of banners going forward i think morgan has two more and Lancelot has at least one more that I can remember off the top of the head. Um, the only thing I'm unsure of is whether or not NA is actually going to get this banner, but we've never not gone in a bit. Basically, the reason I'm positive, even though it doesn't make sense for us to get this banner again, because again, things were different in Japan when this hit. As you can tell by the year, it was 2021 and it was August. 
you know, something was going down in 2021. <laughs> there's about something that was going down from here <laughs> to here where there's just a lot of weird stuff going on. There's a giant gaps of just nothing happening for various reasons that are going to be obvious when we get to them. Um, for that, re I've always thought it was weird how quickly Morgan came back. And I always assumed it was because they didn't have enough content to go through or they saw how po popular she was and they wanted to give them more chances. Um, but either way, I'm pretty sure they're going to keep it for NA. Because if they don't keep it for NA, they're going to get people that complain. And it happens fairly. It hasn't happened enough times, but it happened enough in the olden days that I think they learned their lesson. So yeah, there you go. In terms of actually going in-depth with the units, I'll probably actually do a video like that when it's actually closer to release, where I actually go over the kits and stuff like that. But for now, that should be good enough. I still have to figure out how I'm going to do it without actually accidentally spoiling what their their names are but i'll figure it out don't worry but yeah that's the end of the day's video thank you very much for watching there's been a lot of support for the fago videos which i appreciate a whole bunch uh, especially because it takes me i have to actively make time and be very tired to do these videos which is why sometimes i just say stupid things because i'm non-stop working <laughs> usually when i record them but I'm done for now. I'll see you guys later, and I have to probably get back to work. Okay, until next time, everyone. Goodbye. Peace.